What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Newcastle United Football Manager 2023 save. Uh, you'll notice I hadn't uploaded uh, episode in this series for a few days. I've actually been really enjoying my streams on Twitch, just interacting with the viewers and yeah, I feel like I get more interaction <laughs> over on Twitch funnily enough. Uh, yeah, and I, I just personally really, uh, really enjoy it. So what we're going to do with this save though, we're going to try and round it up next few episodes over the next few days because the full game is going to drop on the 8th and I thought yeah we'll see how yeah see how everything is going and I thought yeah we, we might as well we might as well go yeah the lower league management save try and go from you know the conference to the Premier League I'm still wondering which team I should really go with uh, I might take a look at the teams and yeah see what uh, what teams really looks like a good one to begin that journey with so last year we just said journey but yeah we did the journeyman it was a pretty decent save last year it was pretty fun but I think yeah growing one team up uh, should be pretty oh, yeah that should be pretty fun as well this year and you guys know well yeah Bath City days for those of you that remember when we did Bath City uh, yeah, I really want to get back that vibe because pretty often on the stream, some older viewers will be recalling, yeah, the Bath City save and I, I want to bring that time kind of back. So, uh, yeah, I really, really want to get back to that time where we can have some memories of so many years later of recalling, uh, yeah, moments and players. So, obviously, we went through the World Cup time. We may as well see who won that World Cup. You very well could see just the whole thing. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. England actually won on penalties against Brazil. That would have been a just an individual performance on its own uh, <laughs> to not lose against Brazil. Uh, but obviously, like England, you know, England at their best. They've got, I'd say, probably one of the best squads, like the depth in the squad. And yeah, uh, something to celebrate uh, for the English fans. Before that, though, we did manage to beat Nottingham Forest away from home. Pretty good performance. Uh, Chris Wood is generating some interest. It's said from Everton, but no one appears to be interested. And we we got to go to the messages just to give you guys the idea. And see, that's the thing. There we go. Wood. <laughs> Wood is Everton target. Yeah. Opposed to updating you guys on what's happening, uh, yeah, like obviously live on stream, you get to see everything. As I said, I really like, I really like that. I'm really trying to push that to do full time as well, because I, I, I don't really do anything else. Um, yeah, I had my experience of trying to get back into work, and that didn't really go too well. Yeah, because I've been making the content for so long. This is like what I'm used to. So yeah, um, I'm just back to trying to yeah do this as best as I can. Just need to get that support going, you know. So, yeah, I'm just trying to put in the effort. Hopefully, you guys see that. But, yeah, definitely on Twitch, just trying to uh, put a lot of work in there. So, today, we'll get into a game against Tottenham and see how we perform. Oh, and of course, fourth, eighth. Okay, we'll give this a bit of context. What, yeah, what I mean by context, where are we in the league? Someone, like, yeah, you can review so many things. Haaland is not surprising, but actually, Taiwo Awonyi is like killing it he's rated pretty well when you look at his attributes individually right like a physical beast and can finish composure low but he still scores so at 25 a bit pricey i think that composure could scare people off but that doesn't impact his goal scoring ability i feel those really physical types quick and pacey well quick and pacey <laughs> mate that's the same thing a quick and strong and then he's got a finish on him as well. Pretty good touch with the dribbling. He's pretty unique with player. He's actually rated very, very well. Uh, some mental is a bit lower, but I think yet yeah, the physical and that finishing ability and some touch, uh, yeah, he's a class number nine. But yeah, the point we're going to make, top four, pretty decent. And Chelsea, it's it's amazing. It's amazing. Zinedine Zidane took over. Pot Potter got sacked. And it's like... Or they were around seventh when when they got so in terms of feedback of the game, it's I feel the game's reading off table position and not points because points were they were like three points off fourth and whether where they've got the points the same as us right now. So would you felt that was sacking worthy if it was sitting in seventh and you know top four obviously expectations and especially with a new manager coming in. Like, I think they're very, very harsh. And Manchester United in six, you probably think that's fair, but no, they needed to replace, again, a new manager in Ten Hag 
for Simeone. Like, that's not outside of Manchester United's expectation. Like, that's pretty rough, I'll tell you what. But it was based off how far they were off top four point uh, points. Not points-wise, position-wise. Yeah, let's not get it twisted. It was position-wise. I think they were, like, even eighth or something like that. But, yeah, it was... It was the position versus how far they're off top four or were off top four. And I'm actually interested to see where Ten Hag goes because I think, yeah, he's really rated well and I think he could lead lead a team. So team selection, no real shock. Apart from Dan Byrne coming in, it's fitting that I just led into promising him to play more. And Mr. Mr. Fabian Scher, we've dropped him completely out here playing levels and training levels hitting 31 he'd almost again he would probably be on the chopping block and again for continuing this uh this save on the tier on patreon uh where i've got for like some downloads uh for every so often when if like this tactic basically because i did that rebuild with barcelona for a season one won the champions league and won the league and yeah like if I have a technic good enough, I'll put it up on there for a direct download for those that don't just like to copy everything because obviously there's player instructions and that. But anyway, um, yeah, my FM saves. Uh, I'll put this up for anyone that wants to continue it. Even though the only... We brought in Olmo. We haven't made too many signings, but you could probably just copy what we did uh, in terms of bringing in Olmo. We didn't, really, we didn't really make many moves, did we, outside of that? See, I'm just like recalling what we've done. Uh, we brought in Olmo... Almost in fourth. Okay, so yeah, two targets there. But yeah, um, yeah. If I yeah for saves, I'm not going to continue. I just put up on Patreon for those that want to download it. And as I said, help support my goals as well. <laughs> uh, getting to there. Um, yeah, doing you, at least YouTube and Twitch comfortably. But let's get yeah, let's get into the game right now. And hopefully we have this is Tottenham, right? reasonable team right their attack is always going to be dangerous you got son and kane kane and son probably sounds better like you know like companies are like called kane and son or whatever name and son <laughs> anyway and then they brought in uh, kulisevsky like that three is dangerous like okay okay defend that defend that pick up where we left off last time out yeah it seems a while ago because the world cup to be honest the World Cup felt quicker continuing through the World Cup than an international break. I don't know how that works, but it didn't feel that long. <laughs> you know, it took its time. But if you're not watching it and, like, if you don't have notifications and that for... Yeah, you're going to get through it quickly. Yeah, so Trippier. Come on, Trippier. Tripp he's... I don't know. He's a bit mixed. Uh, Almiron, Almiron, <laughs> it's, let's go, ease off tackles, come on guys, I mean, a point against Tottenham will be nice, we'll like to win it, Trippier, oh yeah, this will, this will lift us up, oh, he goes short, we've got to play, <laughs> Isak, he's very good, if you want a good striker, if you can sign him from Newcastle, uh, we'll get a better we'll get a better look at it here on the replay. Less camera movement, but Ma Saint Maximum there, dangerous. And yeah, Isak, yeah, he was there just to pounce uh, poacher. So yeah, it was all about the positioning. Uh, Trossard scoring for Bright. Trossard is amazing. Again, I can just give so many like uh, a lot of feedback on players. Oh, son. Oof. Excellent. But go okay. Praise your own player, Nick Pope, the goalkeeper who got him good position to make the save, right? He did well. So Sun. Oh. Now oh, well done, well done. So we should be able to defend it. Uh, they had their chance. Uh, we expect. Just to clear this now, show some defense. And yeah, Basuma wasted opportunity. Just ignore that. So we get her. Half time? Ooh, we got to make sure we defend Man City. Haaland scoring. You probably heard that enough times already, and the full game isn't even out yet. Here we go. Get him on the count. No. 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 That's what you don't want. Conceding a set piece in injury time? Like, 
very disappointing after initially clearing we take a look at this and again again saint maximum it's dire on his own that's not correct <laughs> all the way it should be yeah normally we're marking properly uh, not today clearly so we need more possession let's see we'll see how we start this half and might make a change or two because we always like to find a find a change so dire uh, got a goal but he's on a yellow card as well they got a couple on yellows and now target dangerous just play it yeah goal has to be no that was i love that position normally did we do find space but looks like they're getting a lot in the box defensively let's see uh to almiron oh it's in i tell you what i've been saying like he's rated off last year but he's performing like this year close enough anyway like off his attributes, he's scoring more than I would expect. Is that work rate of 19, is it really, really showing? Like, he just worked, he wanted to get to that ball more than Davis. Like, that was simple. Like, that's essentially it, right? So now Perisic on the right side. Okay, okay. 2-1. Pretty happy with the lead. Almiron on a yellow card. Can't take him off. Trippier, see, yeah, he's been given that feel of like, I'm going to bring on Foyth, who's going to be a bit more naturally, a bit more defensively. I'd say he's better defensively with that good tackling and, again, work rate. Is work rate really a key attribute? If See, if Almiron didn't score, I'd probably take him off here. He just he, he looked like he'd be ready. Not ready. He's got a yellow card, getting a little more tired. Bruno G, that Shelby's back from injury. Some guys we're trying to get rid of as well. But, yeah, th this being such a, a tough game, St. Maxman, that's a dangerous player. Sometimes don't ever feel forced into making a sub because you could be reducing quality. Okay. No, you don't always feel... Because easily, easily, you might feel like you have to make a change. You don't have to. Not at all. Fourth, we want to be finding another goal. Almiron. See, look at that. Oh, my God. He almost scored. How good is Almiron? I think that's worthy of a title. Oh, if he finished it, definitely. But that play... Like, I feel... How? I'm like... That feels like that play was St. Maxman there. But I guess he's really, really quick. I get it. I get it. But I didn't expect... Uh, maybe that mix with, that pace mixed with the work rate may be deadly. I don't know. But I don't feel he has that in him, that like running at... Apart from the quickness... But he's dribbling 13. I don't know. <laughs> I'm incredibly incredibly impressed. Like, with that killer pace. Okay, if that pace is killer, what do we call work rate? That's kill that's a killer as well, but that's 19. Mate, that mix of pace and really incredibly high work rate. I'm just trying to find the words for that. And everything else being average might not necessarily matter. He's off the ball pretty good too, but dangerous player. Yeah, I think I think St. Maximum, it's the knock. It's the knock. So what I'm actually going to do is Isak and then St. Maximum off, then, yeah, Wilson. Like, come on. That pace, surely. Actually, with him as well. I do wonder about the poacher. Yeah, I, I like the poacher with him, uh, Callum Wilson. Could have kept the advance forward, but let's see if we find a goal. Isak and well, when you can manage, obviously we're not using two strikers, but it's still having, yeah, Isak and Wilson on the pitch at the same time. We're not switching up the formation. Look what they've got. Andre Silva, who's a very, whew, Tottenham have got some attacking power. Maybe they need to put that money in the defense though. <laughs> they might need to. So right now, Okay, we need to to make we'd have to make all subs now. I think you have to do them in three changes. Three, you know what I mean to make the five subs. Uh, let's long start. I'm just shaking my head. I'm like, yeah, we're reducing quality here. Danny almost so tired. Joe Willock, 
Yeah, shut up, man. Like, I'm not... I naturally do that. It's like I'm not... Wow. I'm not like... Yeah, I, I naturally shake my head. I'm not, I'm not like trying to do it. It just happens. <laughs> when I'm like... I'm not so confident in what I'm doing. They say... Uh, it's just for the freshness. Like, I'm... I'm, 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 I'm on. <laughs> uh, Almiron. I just get too excited. Fraser. See, he's right-footed. Fraser. Okay, Fraser, I'm going to drop him. I know this looks so weird, but, you know, we can, we can do it. Inverted winger there. Like, trust me, this side will go more defensive and fullback, as I said, Foyth is good with that. And I'm just, why am I, why am I switching things up? Why am I, why am I doing this? We're at home. Let's, let's try and play a shorter tempo or lower, t you know what I mean, shorter passing directness and be more disciplined, so... We, we know what we want to do. I'm happy with our performance. We just, I thought we may as well just tactically do this a bit. I mean, we've had more chances on the day, even though Tottenham's had more possession, haven't done with, yeah, a whole lot with it. We deserve to win this. So let's finish it with a corner. Come on. Who's going to fall to? Botman. Long star from long range. No, not quite. Bruno G. That would have been a top effort. That would have been a top effort. Tell you what. Is that Cristiano Ronaldo uh, with another goal? He scores. He's still scoring. But yeah, I think we deserve to win that game today. We played it out pretty well. And I think our XG in the shots, yeah, we had a couple more even after those changes. So pretty, pretty good performance today. And again, if you compare teams, obviously they made some changes that team definitely does not look they finished the game worse so we kept that in mind and we made our changes too so i think definitely like tottenham have the better team but also we're we're at home so i thought i think we performed pretty well our defense even though i don't think we've got great ratings target target he performs very very well he gets some good ratings especially Early on the beta, yeah, I feel like, or early on in FM23, we're on the beta. I feel fullbacks don't tend to get high ratings a lot, but target performs very, very well. And, you know, Almiron, he wasn't even the best on the day. Isak was, but Almiron, he scored that goal and that other one where that chance was absolutely amazing. He looked so dangerous. He looked like St. Maximum, really. <laughs> like just off the play there we go so another win if we start separating ourselves both goal difference wise and points off united and chelsea and i mean tottenham as well because we yeah, take three points off them yeah separates uh even more so so that's looking looking pretty good uh nunez scoring two early goals for liverpool yeah he's pretty good but uh, chelsea getting a win or bemiang have it the goals but yeah in control against tottenham uh, Isak, 100% shots on tight. Like, he's so good. Uh, I just finish up on him. Like, his attributes, yeah. Like, he looks excellent. Like, attribute-wise, yeah. Off that game, yeah. He'll, he'll tend to get a pretty good rating. Maybe more so than Almiron. Like, he looks like definitely the better player. And, yeah. See, quite easily, say maximum, yeah. Like, only just small little knock there. Quite easily, we could turn this into a longer term save, but you know, for the videos, we just, yeah, weigh up um, what's, yeah, what's the best uh, for the channel, you know, but yeah, even on the beta, it seems like, yeah, there isn't so much interest, but you know, I've done Man United saves in the past, so maybe people are like, and I'm still doing Man United actually on stream, but yeah, I see it all about the content of what, what the, or the content um, that seems like videos or streams, but it's more like the say, what type of save is it? And for me, it's a realistic big money team, like a, a new club falling into money, you, you rubbish rivalries and you just, you get so into the save. But anyway, yeah, like it feels like this would be the beginnings of the save. So yeah, anyway, uh, hope you guys are enjoying this for the time being. Anyway, I think realistically we have to round up, yeah, the first season and yeah, let's uh, dig into a uh, lower league management save and make it a bit harder on myself. What have I done to deserve this money? Nothing yet, right? <laughs> Work to that with a lower league save and you yeah, bring them to the top. And when you get that, you're not necessarily saying you'll get a sugar daddy, but when you've got more money to work with than earlier in the save, yeah, you'll, you, you'll appreciate that. So yeah, I think we need to 
we need to do that. Make things harder for yourself and don't do it the easy way. That definitely is fitting for me right now as well uh, to do it the hard way opposed to the easy way. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I'm just cla not clapping, just like that's like the hype, I guess, putting my hands together. But anyway, that's it for now. As I said, follow me on Twitch. I really enjoy streaming right now and uh, interacting with you guys, uh, those that are watching. And yeah, I've been enjoying that a lot. So hopefully I see you guys there as well. I'll see you in the next video.